I'll tell you what, Sid. You walk right through that wall, and you'll find out exactly where you came from. <laughs> That's totally cool. Okay. Uh -huh. well, let me try. Yeah. Oh, this is ah, weird, but awesome. Okay, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Whoa. God damn! Holy shit, my frames. Bro, is he attacking me? What the f Hold on, I gotta switch my weapons. These things are shit for PvP. <laughs> Yo, bro. Yo, the old man's f***ing attack again, bro. <laughs> but I gotta shoot him in the face real quick. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's right. <laughs> Yo, 5k. Bro, I had my bounty. <laughs> Yo. Hey, free fame, I'll take that. Like, bro, this dude entered my fucking dungeon with his giant key and started blasting away 200 rounds per second.
All right, so I finished killing King Calvis 100 times, and I would say I got pretty lucky. So there's a 10% chance of getting his gear, and we got nine of them. We got three capes, three crowns, and three chest plates. Then I got quite a bit of cash over time by killing King Calvis, and you know, if I died over a thousand cash, I would lose some of it. So I spent it on enchanting, right? So I got one strong cape, a hard cape, a hard crown, a swift crown, which I got disenchant and try to get something else because this is pretty bad. This pretty much lowers the value, to be honest. People would probably prefer a non-enchanted crown instead of a swift one. Then I got a strong crown and then two strong chest plates, which I could probably get two chest plates out of one of these. Like people would overpay for stuff like that. So in total, I got nine of the boss drops out of 100, which is less than 10%. So technically I'm unlucky, but I also got lucky with the types of drops I got because, you know, the three chest plates. So me personally, I would say this is a W. But anyways, as per usual, I'll see you guys either tomorrow, the next day or the day after that. Peace and have a great day.